Hello there everybody, welcome to Nugget's Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to make butter chicken. How? So to make this recipe, first we're going to have to marinate the chicken. And since I don't have enough chicken, I'm also going to be adding some beef to it. So first of all, we're going to cut the chicken into smaller sizes, bite sizes. You can either remove the grease or leave it on. I like leaving it. So we cut the chicken. Now once you have your chicken diced, we're going to add our yogurt. Our cumin. Cinnamon. Paprika. And the main spice of everything, grand masala spice. For each pound of meat that you have, you add around a teaspoon of each spice. So we mix this and integrate it well. This is going to be the marinade of our chicken. And once you've mixed it, add your lemon juice. Now we let this sit in the refrigerator while we prepare the rest. Now we dice our onion, our garlic, and our ginger. Now we heat up our pan and we're gonna add our sesame oil and our butter. Once everything has melted, we reduce the heat and we brown our onion, our garlic, and our ginger. Once you have finished browning your onion, garlic, and ginger, we're gonna add our chicken or our meat plus all the sauce. Return our chicken to the heat, put medium heat, and cook it for around 15 minutes. While this is cooking, you're gonna have to add some chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can make your own simply just buy chicken broth powder, add it to water, and heat it up. Once your chicken has heated up and you have your chicken broth, add your chicken broth to the mixture and let it simmer. Let it boil first and then you let it simmer. So, raise the temperature so it boils. Remember, always mix well. Once it boils, lower the temperature and let it simmer for another 15 minutes. Once it has simmered for 15 minutes, we add our tomato paste. And finally, we add in our cream. If you would like some spiciness to it, you can add some chili flakes or some chili powder. And as a final tip, if you want some sweetness to this dish, add some sugar to it. 